How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. So, last week we got the Zeiss, and we, well, we got a bunch of missions to start with, and one of the earliest ones we were able to do, and we actually finished, was a, I don't know, wild goose chase, essentially, to get back the Bracers Guild sign, which is from, you know, our dear friend and happy troll, Blue Block, who, you know, we, we managed to solve it, but still, like, it just felt like he was just snickering at us in the shadows the whole time but we got it done and now we got a few other things we actually got a lot of good missions to do so we're probably gonna just jump right into all of that not really much else to do um so we'll just kind of go over that in the booklet real quick so we got the soul sign we got training assistance uh which we need to do at listing fortress which is a short one so we actually need to do this one really quickly uh the new mortal orb gun orbital gun test we actually have that so we need to go to the trap planes and you, you know do 10 combat so we see through to the end so we can't run away um called the a tunnel monster and the trait planes monster so i actually think we'll go do the tunnel monster and we'll do the training assistance whilst doing the trap planes along the way just kind of get them all done before we go and check in with the inve earthquake investigation at wolf fort uh because after that we're going to kind of come back and check in and probably pick up Tita as a companion because, I mean, it'd be a little silly if we didn't pick her up. And also, I already saw in the store that I can buy, like, a upgraded version of her cannon. So, a little bit of a kind of spoiler, but, you know, that whatever. But yeah, we also want to go slay a bunch of monsters so we can get a bunch of uh, Cepheth so we can upgrade orbital slots and get more orbs slotted. And so all that's going to be a big thing. So this might be the beginning of some of the farming arc. Uh, so imagine that this episode is going to have highlights, but maybe not as much of a focus on stuff just because unless the combat was really interesting and engaging, I'm not really going to spend the time showcasing it all to you. Just know that we're going to be jumping around. I'm going to be trying to harvest monster parts. I'm going to be trying to get Sephith. Uh, mostly because I have a feeling that somewhere in the city, probably, actually I should go check the hotel because I bet you he'd be there. Uh, it's going to be that guy who like wants us to look for food food and monster parts. Although he also might show up later. Uh, we know that sometimes they have stages where missions will pop up. So... Perhaps I'm being a little over ambitious, but that's what that's my game plan for today. So I'm gonna go check out the hotel, just make sure we don't have anybody there we need to go chat with. And then I'm probably gonna go to the underground tunnels and go take out that monster and then move out to the plains. So yeah, let's go. Hmm, an earthquake, how rare. Of course, as a reporter with the liberal news, I'm gonna follow up on this. Well, I'm here checking out the new model engine. I'll also collect opinions from the brains around the factory. So, that, I remember her. We bumped into her last time. Just, uh, that's another reporter. Nothing on Neal, but, you know, he's hard to, he's hard to replace. Oh, man, here we are. It's been a while. But she's darn earthquakes would stop. And on top of those, the creepy dude in black. Something bad's going on, mark my words. Ooh, interesting. I randomly just came up to talk to this guy, but... We're having, like, a full cutscene here. A dude in black! Did you see someone suspicious? Uh, oh, yeah! Some weirdo came through here yesterday. He was standing right over there, just looking. We don't get a whole lot of people coming through here, as you see, so it made me uncomfortable. Yeah, I'd say that qualifies as suspicious. You remember any details about this guy? Couldn't, f couldn't forget the dude if I tried. Okay, first, dude was huge! I mean, he was wearing a dark suit and gloves, right? But even then, I could tell he was ripped. And he had those sunglasses, too. It was like he was on a horse and a freaking escalator. Sunglasses? Uh, what are those? You don't know? They're special glasses that block the rays of the sun. You'll know them when you see them. The lenses are really dark. Uh, what that mean you can't see what's in front of you? <laughs> nah, you can see just fine. They're handy, actually. Still, though, never seen anyone around here use them. Yeah. Those should make finding this guy a cinch. Dark suit, dark gloves, and even glasses are dark? This guy might as well be bi might as well wear a big suspect me of something sign on his forehead in dark lettering, I guess. We better get tell Kilika about this. Yeah, good idea. We'll go check out the fro the fort too and report it all at once. So I uh I don't know what this is all about, but I hope I was able to help. Yeah, you were a big help. Thanks for talking to us. Cool. I didn't know that was just a random find. Great. That's awesome. I just came here to kill monsters and 
you know, just try to talk to people. Gotta go to the show, like, ah, fetch. Oh, what the fetch is that thing? Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So you are a fiery epithet, giant anthill turned monster nest, fires and po uh, powerful formic acid and petrifies foes. Weak to water and wind, immune to stone. Uh, bubble blowers, those things. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, really? We could be missed to get another attack on us. There we go. That sucked. <laughs> We're good to go. Monster carapace, fish egg. And a mirage ring. The chest is actually full of treasure. Problem is, the rest of the monsters are on a break. Sorry, kid. All right, so what is the Mirage Ring? Mirage Ring, uh, ring set with a mysterious rainbow-colored gem. Oh, prevents petrify. Gotcha. Well, that could be useful. Found frog. Back in the good old days, it's required keys to open. Oh, they blocked it off. Nice, okay, cave close due to excessive monster activity. Royal Army. I guess we don't have to face the demon penguins this time. Good. They were awful. There we go. Finally. Alright, rest. And I'm guessing this thing is literally here so that we can fight this next monster. I always thought it was kind of weird because I get it. It seemed oddly placed at the time. Oh, fish. I can fish. I think I can fish here. Let's do it. Wait, that just that just failed. I didn't know you could that could happen. Okay. Doesn't seem like this is a good spot. Maybe for, not for that. Maybe I just need a better fishing rod to fish here. Hmm. All right, where's this monster? I imagine it's close. Oh, that that must be it. Look at that thing. Oh, it's gross. Let's exterminate. Oh, so many of them. There's a big green one. All right, what are these things? A whale frog. Male. And that's the female. Okay. So the male. An amphibious monster lurks underground. Has poisonous tongue. Calls for backup. Female. An amphibious monster lurks underground. Calls. It can. It can. Can call its male counterpart for backup. Okay. All right. They're very strong. That one especially. They are resistant to wind, but otherwise, it's just kind of standard stuff. Okay. Oh, nice. Paralyze. God, get called little minnows. Oh, no. Alright, Estelle. Bring the pain! Beautiful. Beautiful. That paralysis is really just messing with this thing. Kind of neutered this, uh, this, like, uh, queen frog, whale frog. Beautiful. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Good job, good job, everyone. Gummy eyeball. Ugh. Exterminated monster. Perfect. Sweet. Alright, now let's, uh, explore and get some other, uh, chests and stuff I'm sure that we'll be able to find. EP charge. You close the empty chest, you weigh, uh, you weigh the pulses and pluses and minuses, staying in there to jump out and scare the next person who checks it. Not down here. No, down here, that'd be awful. Why would we ever do that? It could be months before someone comes down here. That's not us. A Terra Bomb. You're not digging this whole one item per chest thing, are you? Mm, death blow too. The empty chest shape tempts you to climb on top of it and start writing the next great Zamurian novel. You somehow resist the urge. Speaking of Zamurian novel, I need to try and find uh, chapter three of that one like a spaghetti western book that I was actually really enjoying. I, I tried looking last time and I didn't happen to find it, but I really need to look again and just to even check every shop and see. Hey. <laughs> hey guys. You coming here through the tunnel? You must either be insanely brave or a hell of an urgent job. All right, another save, another fight. I'm guessing. 
Nope. Gemini boots. You open the chest and wait for an item to levitate from the chest into your hands. Nothing happens. Alright, Gemini boots. Let's see what that's all about. Okay. Uh, women only. Defense 55. Movement plus one. They're armored with star plates. Now, it's ironic because, like, the hard loafers actually get better movement. It's got better defense. It's interesting that they're, like, gender-locking a lot of equipment so far in this game. Like, that was a fairly uncommon feature of the last game. But, uh, I kind of get it, especially with a, like, a flushed-out roster. Uh, I imagine it's just another way to diversify and kind of, like, streamline. And maybe even to encourage you to have, like, a balanced team. Where you're not just, like, where you can have, like, guys and girls mixed together. I don't know if it's trying to force that or anything, but it certainly encourages it. What I'd like you to do is carry out some questioning at the Fort at Fort Wolf Fort. I've asked the faculty ch factory chief to collect information in Zai, so you can skip that. You can pace yourself and do some of the requests on the board while you're at it. All right, so Caldea Tunnel Monster. Nice, Bracer F class. Good work. Seems you've successfully accomplished your goals. If you complete any missions, come report them to me. Um, okay, I guess there's nothing there to be done yet. So we'll talk to Kilika. I guess he did mention like doing after the fort visit, so we'll probably just do that. All right, to the fort for training. Yeah, because none of the other missions are on this roadway. I'm not going to be too focused on the monsters here yet. I want to do, like, the mission first while our stats are high, and then I can hunt monsters on the way back before I go rest the inn or something. Oh, chest. Uh, precious meatball. Oh, perilous meatballs. <laughs> Even though there wasn't anything in the chest, opening it showered you in confetti. Yay! Impede 2. Looking into yet another empty chest, you wonder who leaves all these lying around unlocked. Terra bomb. The chest is empty. Not even half empty. Just plain empty. A cure bomb. Any chance you put that thing back where you found it? Nope. It's mine now. This is Lestrian Fortress, headquarters of Her Majesty's Royal Army. Civilians are currently barred from entry. Oh, but uh, we hear about the request you posted on the guild board. Yeah, the one about special training or something. Ain't you hear from your? Ain't you heard from your officers about that? Ah, that yes. Command did say something about that. Now that you mention it, not even a soldier they roped into you. Uh, not even a soldier they roped you into helping with training, huh? Certainly don't envy you. Oh well, it's part of the job. Anyway, get to get us get us whoever's in charge. Certainly, but are you sure you're ready? Ready? What do you mean? We've been engaged in a rigorous training program for some time now, with no significant rest breaks. They're probably going to toss you into the meat grinder as soon as you go in. So if you need to change equipment or get anything, you should take care of that before going in. I see. Okay. Could we get a little bit of time then? Good idea. Could you wait a bit? Not a problem. Once you're ready, just say the word and I'll let you in. Honestly, I think we're ready. I just saved. Uh, we're pretty much buffed out as much as we can be. I got all the best equipment I can do, so... Yeah, I think it's the best. Like I said, the biggest thing is that I couldn't get... Um... I wanted to get Estelle to have, like, the big Arrow Storm super spell. And I'm just shy of it. Because you need... In a line, you need to have ten uh, green Cepheth, uh, three yellow or space Cepheth, and one st Earth Cepheth. And I just can't get all of that. I can get ten green, and I can get the three uh, space, but I cannot find a way to give the one stone without, like, having to remove something else that I need to be in here. So, I just, I just don't have the right Cepheth yet. And there's nothing that, like, just happens to have a Earth involved in it that isn't a dedicated stone. So, like, I, I just gotta keep looking for the right stones, I think. But, yeah, we're, we're getting there, but, yeah, there's not really much else I can do. You folks ready? Alright then, let me see them tra let me get the training combat. Well, never mind, here he is now, sir. Huh? Is it gonna be Cassius? How you doing? 
Major Sid, I haven't seen you in ages. Hey, been a while, Sid. <laughs> nice to see you again. My apologies for all the trouble we caused you during the kidnapping of Professor Russell. You really deserve a much more formal apology at some point, but... <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I mean, you let us get away. Hmm, your gratitude does me more credit than I deserve, Miss Bright. Anyway, we saw your posting on the board at the guild. You're doing some kind of special training, right? Yes, I had intended for it to be a simple standard training session. But General Morgan is due to arrive at the base shortly. I thought it'd give the men an extra vigorous workout to make sure they're ready to show off, as it were. Yeah, that makes sense. He's gotten such a booming voice, you have to be ready for it or else he'll totally throw you off. <laughs> yes, General Morgan can be a bit frightening when angry. Normally, General Bright would be in charge of this sort of thing. However, he's not present at the moment, so I'm in command for now. Oh, I see. So Dad's usually here, huh? According to schedule, he should actually be returning soon. You'll be in Zeiss for a while, Miss Bright. You'll likely have a chance to meet up with him. Yeah, I might. Colonel Sid, it's time, sir. All right. We've been taking too long, haven't we? Officer Black, if you would please give her the rundown. Colonel Sid, huh? Weren't you Major Sid before? Ah, yes. I actually got a notice just a little while ago. I've been promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, neat. Well, congratulations, Lieutenant Colonel Sid. <laughs> Congrats. Nice to see a good man getting the respect he deserves. I... thank you. To be honest, though, it's a bit embarrassing. I only did what my country and my duty asked of me. Hey, there's no need to be humble. You ain't it. I agree, sir. We'll be relying on you even more in the days to come. Officer Black, I believe I gave you an order. Mm, sorry, sir. Let me explain the subject of our request, then. You want us to take part in a training, right? What exactly do you have in mind? The idea is to have you participate in some staged battles against the soldiers. You'll be fighting two back-to-back -back matches with no time in between whatsoever. You'll need to consider your pace, so don't wear yourselves out completely. Oh gosh, like if there's anything I am too good at, it's pacing myself. Let's have combat with no breaks? Uh, that sounds like it's gonna be kinda hard. It'll be rough, can't deny that. Your role was to go through both battles, not just test, but prove a bottle of our soldiers. So don't hold back, fight both battles to win. Understood. You don't need to tell us not to hold back, trust me. <laughs> well, this is sounding promising. Alright, Officer Black, leave the bracers to the training grounds. Yes, sir. I'll see you there, everyone. I'm guessing this is a mission that I couldn't fail. Follow me if you would. Alright, here we go. I wonder how many we're going to end up fighting. It's kind of weirdly nostalgic, huh? Yeah, we haven't been here since, you know, then. Last time, I couldn't really get a feel for it since it was so dark. But this place is huge! It's really cool. This is the headquarters of the Royal Army, remember? Its purpose is a bit different from that of the smaller forts to guard posts you find in the countryside. Hmm, I do believe a new meat where to grind, to, where to grind now awaits us on the counter. All right, group of four. Very well. Then the challengers here will begin the staged battles. Your opponents shall be grouped of elite bracers. I suggest you give them your all, your veterans, including the victors of this year's martial arts competitions. The victors of. Oh. Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> As explained, you'll be fighting two-round combat match. Keep that in mind and pace yourselves accordingly. Are you ready? I'll go as many rounds as I'm needed. Let's get this started. No time limit. No time like the present, then. Both sides. Arms are ready. Begin! Alright. Boom. And put him to sleep. Beautiful. Not bad, not bad. Cease! We win! Didn't even break a sweat. I'm glad, I guess. Ow! What are you men waiting for? Withdraw from the field. Sir! Poor guys. I feel bad. Next officer, Black! Sir! 
All right, a little bit beefier, huh? You think I can let us rest? Oh, oh dear. I wish they would at least permit me to straighten my hair. Hmm, no less than I would have expected from champion to the arena. We're lo trying to lower my guard by giving me an opening, are you? Uh, no? I think you're getting a little too into it, Mr. Black. We're still in training. Please abstain from personal conversations. Now then, round two. Both sides, arms are ready. Begin! Hmm, they definitely are tougher this time around. Down it goes. Maybe we should have come here first. The monster was way harder than this. Cease! Another victory for us, eh? Yeah, somehow. Ugh, we lost. Officer Black, can you still fight? Sir? Yes, yeah, yes sir. Good, then get ready. Yes, sir! Uh, ready for what? Hmm, whatever could you mean? Perhaps you intend to throw us a party in celebration for our outstanding finesse. Party? Just ignore him. Very well. No, I asked him to prepare for another round, of course. What? You said we'd only be fighting two battles. I did, however. In response, you distinctly proclaimed that you were okay with any number of rounds. <sighs> Didn't think you'd take that seriously. Heck yeah! Look what your big mouth has gotten us into! Ah, uh, don't worry about it. We just got caught up in the moment. I'd like to take you up on the offer and request one more round. And I shall serve as your final opponent. Wait, you, Colonel? As long last, the true intentions are revealed. You cannot bear to watch and wait without testing your own skills as well. There is no need to hide such feelings, sir. <laughs> Guess it could have been could could have been seen right through. <laughs> All right, I get it. Bring it on then, Sid. All right then. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. It's no problem. We didn't get to fight him in the first half, first game. Now then, let us begin. Are you prepared? Bring it on. On your guard. Okay, here we go. Again. Well, we'll just do a standard attack. Get you in range for the next time. Ah, oh, you got it. He's out. Boom. One out for the count. Ow. Ooh, scary boy. Let's interrupt that, shall we? Hmm. Boom. Get him, Sieg! Take him down. Beautiful. Quick draw. Have been faster on the draw there. Hmm. Let's take him down. That's not great. <laughs> um, you can't hit him. Good, I did interrupt there. Good. Sheesh, he won't stop trying. <laughs> yes, 
Oof. Oh, she missed. That's not great. Because I can't stop him now. Oh, wait. I forgot that does stop him. Whew. I really don't want him to cast whatever that is. Okay, got that guy down. Stop it. <laughs> he won't stop trying. Good. Take him down. Take him down. Ow. Feel the speed of my divine blade. Oh, fetch me. You just took her out. There he goes again. Oh, it didn't stop it though. This is gonna hurt. And he's down for the count. Oh, that's right. I forgot he had that. Please stop that. <laughs> Throw down. 
Please stop that. And fire your gun! Beautiful. Oof! That was a spicy one. Enjoy the show. I like that though. It was like the hard fight was at the end, but it kind of tried to draw out your like all your your resources in the first two fights because it kind of you know with the deception of like the fact that it was going to be two like three rounds instead of just two so that was pretty cool lots of stuff at two and they're good because i need more of the the wind stuff i need more fire stuff at two but the wind one definitely okay we won i think somehow thank goodness that was rough he was knocking us around like twigs Incredible. Total defeat. I'm impressed you did so well, even after back-to-back -back fights. You're the perfect model for our soldiers. I think you were the model here. Hate to admit it, but we learned a fair bit ourselves. I want that spell yeah, dang it! Yeah, I don't think we've ever gotten founded by eyes like that before. I actually think that's the spell I will have, like I'm the one I'm like on the precipice of having. Uh, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it was like that. Maybe you should give our orbit stat up another look. If you two learned something, if you two learned something from this, that makes it all the worthwhile. True power doesn't stem from technique itself, after all, but from how you use it. This goes for arts and crafts alike. Ex excellent advice. Members of the Royal Army trained to improve ourselves no less than bracers, and we fully intend to continue doing so for the sake of lasting peace in this kingdom. Yeah, we're going to keep training as well. If the chance comes up, I'd love another shot. I'd be okay with that too. You have my word, you will have that chance. After all, I don't intend to leave things as they are. I'd like a rematch myself. That concludes our trainings then. Good work, men. Quest training assistance completed. Friends, thank you for coming out here today. I'm sure we'll have more to ask of you in the future. I hope we can expect similar results when that time comes. Get back, Colonel Sid. We're planning on helping you out the army guys as much as possible anyway. You need anything, just contact the guild anytime. I will, thank you. As a parting gift, let me offer you this. Officer Black? Sir! Gladiator headband. Ooh! I was asking about these! It may not be much, but it should come in handy at some point. I hope you'll accept it as thanks for your assistance. Thanks, Colonel Sid. Hey, you didn't need to do that, but thanks. Now, if you'll pardon me. I hope we meet again soon. Hopefully, we'll be able to see Dad soon, too. So, I want to make sure I remember what that is exactly. Because if I recall correctly, I probably want to put this on you. Gladiator headband. Motivating headband, CPU recovery rate rises in battle. Yeah, because hers are really, really important for fights, so I want to have her. I want Chloe to have that headband. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was really good. Very, very happy with how that turned out. Now let's go hunt some monsters on the way back to, back to civilization. And, uh, yeah, then we'll turn it in and we'll see. I'm, like, I, I feel like we could get a little more in today, but I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. We're getting close to what's going to be the end, that's for sure. Alright, let's go check out the gate. Welcome to this, uh, Sakthum Gate. Did you hear? Want to have a good look at the long, uh, good long look at, uh, and admire the Annenberg Wall as you go. Oh yeah, this is the beginning of that romantic trail. I remember that. Trying to climb the walls is insane. What does he plan on doing if he falls? Uh, no way. I hope he doesn't think of doing anything too crazy. Yeah, who's this guy? I hate birthday celebrations! <laughs> ah! Don't jump, dude. Anton, you're facing towards Zeiss. If you hate the birthday celebration, at least scream towards the capital. Oh, is he the guy who was going to propose to the girl and he just, like, didn't for whatever reason? Or, like, something happened that prevented him from it? Or maybe she just said no. <laughs> that would be very sad. Farewell, my youth! <laughs> my buddy Anton confessed his favorite girl during the Queen's birthday celebration, but 
He was totally rejected, but the bloodiest way possible. Oh no! Apparently, he came here to erase those memories. I hope he didn't come here to erase himself. Oh, that's terrifying. That's oh, that kind of sucks. I remember following them through like that whole escapade. Like he was just trying to get it. Like the thing is though, like I thought that she knew he was thinking of proposing. I guess uh, I maybe part of me kind of thinks that I heard about the ending. Like I like talked to them when like and when she rejected him. But like it's fuzzy. I think there's a because there's so much on my mind with like the whole like professor reveal and the upcoming Joshua s stuff. I think I just kind of forgot. I think I was a little too focused on everything else. But like it sounds vaguely familiar like it didn't quite work out. Of course, part of me is thinking it might be a misunderstanding like like he confessed and she didn't really like realize it. I don't know. There's something about that confession, but that sucks. That poor guy. I mean, you know, to each their own, and if she didn't feel it, she didn't feel it, but it's just, it really sucks to have to, like, go through that. Because, I mean, they clearly were dating for a while. You don't propose to somebody and, like, work up a big plan like that over someone you've only recently met. Training assistance. 25,000. Senior breaker, rank F+. Plus. And a septium vein quartz is a perk. Good work, since you successfully accomplished your goal. If you complete any other missions, report them to me. All right, so we just have the the planes monster and the orbital gun test now, besides like the main one. Oh, nice, I'll take that. Ooh, you found one of those completionist types, huh? I wish, not quite. I like getting a lot done, but I definitely am not a completionist. I just like, Doing well. Tower, tower bro, monster. Okay, so someone mentioned in a comment that I should wait to go to the tower till I get uh, a companion who I'm guessing is Tita. Uh, just because it's a good opportunity to kind of catch her up in levels. So I will listen to that advice. Though be careful giving me such advice. Let me have my let me explore the game, you know, as I do. Alright, got a crab. Another crab. One more try. Let's see if we can get anything besides crab. This crab. Alright. That'll do for now. Got crabs. That sounds weird. Yep, I thought so. Okay. Oh, it's a freaking monster mash. Oh, paralyzed. Good. It could just dance in our face now. That's all it can do. Beautiful. All right. Beat down two. Mm, nice. Very good. All right. Silver earring. We have like three of those. You try watching the chest and see if something will sprout, but the only thing it lets grow is the smell. Gross. Speaking of which, I actually just realized we should probably like it gives us a usually. Creates a variety of abnormal statuses with its gra gases. Okay, yeah. Oh, that must be our monster. Alright. Oh, there's, there's three of them. Cool. Stop putting them to sleep! Come on, Sieg. Let's try and finish this off. I think we're almost done here. There we go. Sheesh! Enjoy the show. That was a nightmare. Okay, exterminated the monster. Now we just need to three battles down. No problems yet, it seems. There we go. Well, that takes care of that. Chain two. All right, cleared the quest. All right, let's go talk to Carl. Um, report. 
Hey, come to report. Yeah, we fought the battles. Well, then, allow us to report the results to the date. Oliver reported the current results to Testacaro. Yeah, seems like you fought it off. All right, we'll call the test complete. Yeah, finally over. That was rougher than I expected. <laughs> seems you had your work hard. Hmm, as but as humble assistant, it was the least I could do. So, Oliver, were there any problems? No, absolutely no problems. Stable trajectory and performance under balance. I'm eager to see a fine piece of work like this out in the market. Whew, thank goodness. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Alright, seems like I finally set the product phase, uh, production phase on the horizon. Oh, it's not going to be mass produced yet. Looks like it's pretty done from my point of view. No, it still needs a bit more time. Now I need to hone in the fine details of the manufacturing. I'm only able to do that because of the results you got from this test. The new info should make further research fly ahead. Well, keep up the good work. A new model orbital gun. I'll be expecting great things. Yeah, look forward to it. Oh, right. One sec, before you go. Huh? But there's something else. Yeah, take this with you. You got hit three quarts. It was bothering me the bigger that reward was kind of meager. Well, think, this, think of this as making up for that. Not a bad thing to have a bit of, so please take it. Yeah, thanks. Hmm, <clears throat> we'll be glad to use it. Well then, if anything comes up, I'll call you guys. You all take care. See you later. New model orb gun test completed. Let's take a look at that orb that hit three. Because, like, I didn't realize we didn't have Lakira. Oh, we do. Okay, so that's the large. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do that then. Give her that Mirage Element 3. And that gives us even better heals. Perfect. All right. Let's go turn in our quests. And then uh, that'll probably be it for today. All right. Uh, new model orb gun test. 25,000 Mira. 2,500 Mira. And Trats Plains Monster. 3,500. F class. F plus class still. Good work. Since you successfully accomplished your goals. If you complete any missions, care, report them to me. Alright. All reported. All good. So yeah. That is where we're going to end for today. Because that leaves us with just the main quest to go on for now. And then after we get that first phase done, it looks like we'll do some recruiting, do some snooping, know where we're going to go next, and probably go spend some time at the tower going treasure hunting and all that good stuff. But we'll get to all that next week. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel, for being a part of this journey. This one was a lot more of a chill episode. Uh, I have a feeling that despite the fact that I've been here for a couple hours, you're probably going to be seeing a shorter video just because I doubt I'm keeping all that combat in. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy what I gave you, and uh, look, that you're looking forward to next week when we get to do some more sleuthing and really kind of look at potentially figuring out what these earthquakes are all about. So, yeah, let's just find that all together. Thank you so much, especially thank you to the patrons and members who make it possible for me to continue to make content on a very regular basis and to, like, encourage me to pursue this and to try and make the channel better and better every day. I really appreciate your faith in me. I hope I live up to it. And I hope anyone who's watching this, thank you for being here. It means the world to me that you're here. And it actually makes a huge difference for a channel like mine. So thank you. I hope you continue to come back and that there's stuff here that keeps you wanting to come back. So until next video watching me, I'll see me next. I'll see you there.